Hi guys. Uh, we're going to start with a topic called logarithms. It's one of the very, very important topics when it comes to IPMAT Indoor. Right? So we will be covering logarithms in around three or four videos. I don't know how many it's going to take, uh, but definitely uh, three to four uh, minimum is what I'm expecting. So we will, I will take you through the basic concept of logarithms. I'll take you through the various formulae to be used in logarithms. And then we will also solve a few questions that have actually appeared in the previous year papers. Okay, so let's uh, start a very brief introduction of myself once again. I'm Srinivas Akapeddi. I'm one of the chief mentors of Career Launcher Bangalore. I'm a graduate a mechanical engineer actually from IIT Dhanbad and a finance major from IIM Indore. I have been training students for various entrance exams for the last 15 years. That's very brief introduction about me. Right, so let's uh, look at the appearance of logarithms in the Indore's paper, that is IPMAT Indore for the last two years. So we have logarithms. In 2019, the total number of questions were four. Whereas in 2020, the total number of questions were two. So you can notice that out of 60 questions, out of 60 questions, you got four questions and out of 30, you got two. So that way the ratio of logarithms to the total questions in maths have remained same, even when the paper was decreased. The, the, the paper time and the exam uh, maths questions were decreased. So the, by that you can say it's in fact, if you can notice, it's one of the highest, uh, one of the top three topics. Uh, the top three being these logarithms, matrices and coordinate geometry over the last two years, if you analyze logarithms happens to be one of the one of these top three all right so let's uh, start the basics of logarithms then so what is a logarithm why do you need it so let's look at this if i have uh, if i have a number a power b right a to the power of b if i say the answer is c this a is called as the base this b is called as the power sometimes it is also called as the index Okay, so A is called as a base, B is called as the power or index and A to the power of B is your C, which is the output. Now, the need for a logarithm is because you can write C in terms of A and B. That is what you have here. C is A power B. You can also write A in terms of C and B by using your uh, basics of exponents. So A can be written as C to the power of 1 by B or B to the root of C. However, using your conventional exponential formulae, there is no way, there is no way to express B in terms of A and C. B as a function of A and C, you cannot express normally. One of the utilizations or uses of logarithms is to have or is to define your power B in terms of your output C and your base A. So the definition of a logarithm is if A power B is C, if this is correct, then this is how logarithm is defined. B is defined as log C to the base A. Log C to the base A. This is the definition guys. You have to get this very, very clear. The definition is very important in logarithms. If a to the power of b is c, then b will be written as log of c to the base a. That is how you read it. Log of c to the base a. Okay. So the other way of asking this question is this a raised to the power of what? a raised to the power of what gives you c. That is another way of looking at the logarithm. So if I say log x base y, Basically, it means y raised to the power of what gives me x. This becomes the answer for your logarithm. Okay, so if you notice a to the power of b, so here a raised to the power of b gives you c. So b became your answer for log c to the base a. Right, so that's how the logarithm has been defined. 
Now, the one thing to notice is the base in your exponential form is the same base in the logarithmic form when you convert it. The same a base a will also become the base a here. Okay, so please don't, uh, I mean, please don't get confused. The base in the exponential form will also be the base in the logarithmic form. And your b, that is the exponent, is what you're writing on the left hand side. And the right hand side becomes log c base a. Okay. Right. So some simple logarithms, if I give you what is log 100 base 10. Now, remember, we do not have any logarithmic formula except for the simple definition that if I write log x base y, my answer should be y to the power of what gives me x. This what becomes my answer. Okay. This what becomes my answer. So if I ask you log of 100 to the base 10, the answer should be 10 to the power of what? gives me 100. That is my answer. So clearly, you know, 10 square, which means the answer is 2. Log 100 to the base 10 is 2. Now We are not utilizing any basic formula of logarithms. We are just going with the definition. So the first one here, the answer should be 2. Similarly, if you ask you log 64 to the base 2, what is the meaning? It means 2 to the power of what gives me 64. This is your answer. So 2 to the power of what is 64? So you can see 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So this should be 6. Similarly, if I give you log 243 base 9. So the question is 9 to the power of what? This one gives me 243. And you can see that 243 is not exactly as a power of 9 because 9 power 1 is 9. 9 square is 81. And 9 cube is how much? It is uh, 729. So 243 does not come in powers of 9. Then what do you do? Write this 9 as 3 square into this box. Okay. So this will be equal to 243. Now 243 can be written as 81 into 3, which means this is 3 power 4 into 3 power 1. So it is 3 power 5. Okay. So now you can say, this is what your answer is. Let's say this is a. So 2a equal to 5 or a equal to 5 by 2. Very clearly a equal to 5 by 2. So 9 raised to the power of 5 by 2 gives you 243. That is the way you need to understand. One last example. If 13 to the power of 5 is this big number, then when you convert it into the logarithm form, this 3 will go, this 13 will come and become the base. This number will become the logarithm part and the power will become your answer in logarithm. So 13 to the power of 5 is 371293. Then 5 will be log of that big number to the base 13. Okay. So this is basically what you have to keep in mind. Okay, this is uh, this is a small error. This is actually b to the power of c. b to the power of c. It is not b into c. Anyway, moving on. Now, when is a logarithm defined? Now, this is very important again. There are a lot of traps which are created in the question paper based on the definition and the uh, when is it defined. Now logarithm, this log of C base A, writing this is only valid when B and C are positive, not even zero, they should be positive. And your base cannot be equal to one. So log of two numbers, X base Y, this is only valid if, remember this is only valid if both your numbers are first positive, and your base is not equal to one. Otherwise, this becomes invalid. Okay, so please keep this in mind. It's very important and there are a lot of traps, as I, as I mentioned, uh, that questions can lead you into wrong answers if you don't remember this. So let's take a look at how the logarithm graph looks like. So the first case is when the base is greater than one, which means I'm talking about a base two, a base 10, or a base E base logarithm to the base e. Now what is e? e is an irrational number. Please remember. 
e is an irrational number and the value starts with 2.7 and it is a non terminating non recurring decimals i hope you remember this all non terminating non recurring decimals are irrational so e is one such number it is 2.7 and it is non terminating it keeps going on some other digits will keep coming in to be very honest i don't remember anything more than the first digit you don't need it so 2.7 one i think and then something and all anyway so that's your irrational number so log when you write to the base e anything to the base e sometimes they also write it as ln ln by definition see ln by definition means it is base e ln means you don't you don't need to write e again whereas if it is log normally if nothing is mentioned it is taken as base 10 otherwise any other base like log 2 log 3 log 100 all of them will be log only but ln is a special case this means your base is e i don't need to write e anymore it is understood ln means base e it is also called a natural logarithm this ln is called natural logarithm now we don't need to understand why this is called natural logarithm what is log and why is it different from ln uh, apart from the base differences let's not get into that because that is not required for you but right now we need to understand the graphs part of it so if it is any graph basically goes somewhat like this it starts from negative and actually it starts this way you can see and they all become zero when your x is 1 all of them become zero when your x is 1 as long as your base remember as your as long as your base is greater than 1 and then depending upon what your base is 2 or e or 10 the graph will keep going like this which means the higher the base the uh, steeper the gentler the graph is going to become the smaller the base the steeper the graph is going to become okay so you can see 2 is more steeper than e which is steeper than 10 so if it is a 100 it might probably be almost like this you know it's going to be in this shape so if i want to draw a graph the basic shape i will write it here will be like this where this is your 1 so this is the case where your base is greater than 1 in logarithms there are two graphs that you have to keep in mind what happens when the base is greater than 1 and what happens when the base is less than 1 so remember base has to be positive so there are two cases one is greater than 1 the other case is between 0 to 1 and when the base is between 0 to 1 the graph becomes interestingly in this way okay so you can see that at 1 again it becomes 0 but earlier this was the graph at 1 it is becoming 0 so it was like this correct it was this way so between 0 to 1 so if this is x equal to 1 between 0 to 1 your graph is negative which means log output is negative and after 1 it is positive here till 1 it is positive and after 1 it is negative that is what happens when your base is between 0 to 1 your base is between 0 to 1 okay so more or less you can say these two graphs are mirror images with respect to your x axis okay anyway uh so now the next thing which we will be requiring uh, in some questions again this is not very commonly asked what we are discussing in this slide it's not very commonly asked but it makes sense for you to remember this there is an expansion for logarithm now what is the expansion here it is given by this formula log of 1 plus x base e is given by x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 uh, minus x power 4 by 4 and so on up to infinity so the series goes on to infinity but please keep in mind this is only valid when x is like this this is only valid when x is like this now x cannot be minus 1 because if x is minus 1 this becomes 1 minus 1 which is 0 and logarithm of 0 is not defined i already told you if i write log a base b your a should be greater than 0 so if i write x as minus 1 this entire logarithm 
of i mean this thing will become zero so log of zero is not defined similarly if i write 1 minus x so you will replace all x with minus x so even powers will not change so they will be as it is but odd powers now will get an extra negative sign because of x being replaced with minus x so this is what is the formula and again this is only valid when x is in this range please remember this expansion is valid only for the range of x mentioned you cannot use this expansion you can't say what is log of 7 you can't write it as log of 1 plus 6 because 6 is not falling in this range so you can't write it as 6 minus 6 square by 2 plus 6 cube by 3 you can't do this okay you can't write it because 6 does not fall in your region so when your x is greater than 1 or less than minus 1 there is no such uh, possibility of writing your logarithm the last thing which is not directly related to logarithm but we are looking at expansion it will be helpful for you to remember is the expansion of e power x e power x expansion is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factor so this is factorial factorial means 1 into 2 3 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 4 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so n factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into up to n minus 1 and finally n okay so this is again an infinite series in this case it is for any x so your logarithm expansions are only for minus 1 to 1 whereas e power x expansion is for any x right uh, so this uh, those of you are interested you can look up something called as taylor series and mclaren series okay so taylor series and mclaren series uh, these basically are the origins for the expansions of your log x or log of 1 plus x and e power x now remember please remember log x has no expansion it is the expansion of log of 1 plus or minus x this does not have any expansion right so that's about the introduction of logarithms in the next class we'll actually be looking at the formulae for logarithms see you in the next video friends Thank you.